Hello, and if you don't know already, I'm Scott Florence, and just now I'm going to be talking about some more of the latest science news, and more specifically, I'm going to be starting off by talking about what you, as a community of interesting people, can do. I'm going to try and make this quick, as I'm going to be putting this at the start of the video, because I know that many of you won't make it to the end of this video, despite there being outtakes and whatnot at the end of the video, and hopefully you'll be able to understand me talking this quickly. But anyway, it's possible that I may not be able to be uploading videos every Wednesday, like I've been attempting to do, because I have my exams coming up, and I also need to complete my Open University course within the next week, so I won't be having quite so much time to make the videos, but I will be uploading videos every Sunday for the foreseeable future, and if I see something really interesting in the news that I think you should know, perhaps I'll be uploading a video just specifically on that when I get the chance to. But seeing as I can only guarantee one video a week, please do type in the comments down below which you'd prefer, more of the news type stuff or more of the what is type stuff, because whichever you suggest I will be uploading more videos of. If there's absolutely nothing new or interesting in the news that week, then I'll just be doing a what is video anyway. But let's move on. Now to start off, we're going to talk about NASA offering access to behind the scenes of a satellite launch in 2013 and any one of you could be the person that goes to that and this satellite launch is the Landsat satellite that's being launched and it will be at an Air Force military base where you'll get a tour and get to see the launch happen and the reason that any one of you could be the person that goes to see this is because they're offering this as part of their Earth Day 2012 which they did last year's so Earth Day 2011 where they encourage people to make a video featuring images and videos that NASA has taken as an inspirational video. And as part of this competition, NASA will look at all of the entries and the winner will be allowed behind the scenes access. I'll link information about it in the info box down below, as with last year's winning video. And that winning video is also annotated around here. Also, NASA is starting a long-term citizen science project where amateur astronomers from around the world help NASA to look for asteroids and not only to find them but also to help study them. They're saying that this will help them characterise the asteroids as well as affect current and future missions to these asteroids. This is called the OSIRIS-REx mission and there'll be links to more information about it down in the information box down below. The things that amateur astronomers should be looking for are things like the position, the motion and the rotation of these asteroids, but I'm sure they'd appreciate anything that would help. Now finally, the magnetic Josephson effect has been witnessed and the thoughts are that this will help in the making of quantum qubits used for quantum computers, just as bits are used in everyday standard computers that we use now. These are qubits for quantum bits. The Josephson effect is an example of a macroscopic quantum phenomenon. This phenomenon is basically when a current indefinitely flows without any voltage or potential difference being applied, and it's a prediction of superconductivity. Now technically what was observed was a coherent quantum phase slip, which is similar to the Josephson effect, and basically what happened was a magnetic flux took the place of the electric charge. The electric charge could be things such as the electrons flowing through it as a current. A previous version of this, which has already been observed prior to now, was something called a Josephson junction, where the electron sites to quantum tunneling make their way through a thin insulating layer that is between two superconductors. The Josephine junction has been a very important the Josephson injunction has been a very important part of technology in some areas because of things like SQUIDs, superconducting quantum interference device. These are among the most sensitive magnetometers that have ever been invented and would have been impossible if it wasn't for the Josephson effect. Physicists are already thinking that this has much potential for real life application as well as it being a breakthrough in theoretical work, as this Josephine effect shows events on the more macroscopic side of quantum processes, which to this day we are still struggling to work out how quantum processes would work on a more macroscopic scale, and why we aren't falling through the floor right now, though there are still some good ideas about that. And one of the many hopes is that these quantum qubits that will be made thanks to this process will not be as prone to charge noise, which is basically what happens when a where a insulator is present that causes decoherence in quantum qubits at the moment. And without this decoherence, it would make the quantum qubits more easily used. And I'll put more information about this down in the information box down below. Thanks for watching and making it all the way through this video, unless you've skipped it all just to see these blooper bits at the end. But even if you have, thanks for being here anyway. We've exceeded 50 subscribers and 7,000 views, hooray! And... 
I don't really have much more to say, so smoke alarm and still going. Hopefully the house isn't burning. Good. Josephon. Josephon? Josephon. Joseph jo Josephson. 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 Joseph Josephson. Joseph. Joseph. Son. Joseph. Son. Joseph. Now finally the magnetic Josephson. Now finally the magnetic Josephson. Josephson. Joseph son. Now finally the magnetic Joseph son. The Joseph and this phenomenon and this phenomenon and this phenomenon 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 After you say a word so many times it stops sounding like a word phenomenon but no phenomenon 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 no phenomenon Phenom and none. Phenom and none. Mouth's getting a bit dry. Josephson, Josephson. This from this phenomenon. This this phenomenon is. I know it's starting to cool down. We can't have that. And the the Josephine magnetometers. Mag is it? Yes.